All right, this is a brief module in which I'll talk about twinning. You're probably most familiar with seeing twinning or twins in looking at hand specimens of plagioclase, where you see striations on a cleavage plane of, um, of feldspar. And it's much easier to see in thin section, and it's quite common, particularly in plagioclases. Um, and to see twinning, you really need to insert the upper polarizer and look in cross-polarized light. Now, twins result from a crystal that has two different crystallographic orientations, and those different domains in the crystal share a plane of atoms in common, or a volume of atoms in common, depending on the kind of twinning that is present. Now, here are a couple of examples. The upper image is an augite, so it's a pyroxene, where um, sometimes see twinning. Um, you see this darker blue twin on the bottom and the bright blue twin on the top. The twins, because they have different crystallographic orientations, are going to go extinct at different times, and that's why the color looks different in this augite. Same with the plagioclase below, um, where you see this in this large crystal, you see that one twin is almost completely extinct and the upper twin is not. So different crystallographic orientations. And in those plagioclases, we also see more than one type of twin. Um, in the augite above, it's a simple twin that is parallel to the length of the crystal. And in the plagioclase, there are three kinds. There's a simple twin, um, again, parallel to the length of the crystal, um, and it separates this wide, um, almost uniformly gray band or twin here from the almost uniformly black or extinct band on the bottom. So those are wide twins. Um, there's also an albite twins present. So those are these narrow, long narrow um, twins that you see throughout the crystal that alternate black, white, black, white, black, white, where one twin or set of twins is extinct and the other isn't. We also see paracline twins. Um, and that is perpendicular to the length of the crystals and perpendicular to the other kinds of twinning. And those usually show up as isolated or occasional um, twins in the crystal. It's different from um, a fourth kind of twinning that you see in feldspars, which is a tartan twinning, where you actually see um, a plaid sort of pattern in the microcline. And that's this is diagnostic of microcline. And whereas the other kinds of twins are present in plagioclase mostly, um, tartan twinning is um, unique to microcline. All right, what you learned here is twins result from different crystallographic orientations of a crystal that share a common plane or volume of atoms. That common twins, in particularly in feldspars, include the Carlsbad, albite, paracline, and tartan twinning. Um, and twinning is very common in plagioclase, but does occur in other minerals. And so when you see it, I hopefully now you'll be able to recognize it. So why don't you go and check out um, some twinning in videos of thin sections 8 and 76, and then you'll be able to complete the quiz on twinning.